Thank, Thank you. you. We love you. Hello and good morning, everyone. Good morning, you guys. We're starting things window side once again, but strawberries. We got the slicer going. Mom, what are you doing? What are you mixing up here? Today, Hazel is having a talent show at school. Turns out she woke up a little nervous. She's a little scared. Guys, it was adorable. She was like crying and trying to think of reasons to get out of school. So she's going through everything you can think of. I don't feel good. I'm too tired. My legs hurt, whatever it is. So right before they leave to go out into the car, she gives me this big hug and breaks down into tears. And she goes, I'm just so scared to do my talent. I have to do a handstand and a cartwheel. Which she chose her talent. She chose that and she's good at it. But then when it comes down, down to, to doing, doing it, it again. the thought of like embarrassing yourself, running into a desk, falling <laughs> over, not being able to handstand. Like <laughs> Hazel Wood. She can't do a handstand. I don't know why she chose to do that as a talent. She can't do a handstand. I kind of was like, well, would you want to do a different talent? Just train, you know, let it make She does idea. like a donkey kick and she goes like, how was that? We're like, it was amazing. She's That's how kids end up on American Idol not knowing how to sing. Because their parents are like, you're so good at singing. And they get on there and they're like, ah, but I could go on there. Anyways, that would have been Hazy's handstand. So, last minute, pulled the switcher. I said, look, let's do something that's not gonna make you nervous, a little more simple. Something that maybe is already done that you can show off. She loves to do crafts. She loves to do art. She loves yes, to paint. She, she draws us things daily, daily and hands them to us in person or she'll put them by our beds. Happened to us last night. She put on my nightstand a really fun painting that she had done, a bunch of colorful thoughts. She'd drawn some circles, whatever. I said, why don't you show off your piece of art and you can have your talent be your artistic ability. And immediately, she was like all over it. Huge smile, ran upstairs with me to pick up the painting, put it into her backpack and went off to school with a smile, feeling fantastic. That's what's going down today. She's so cute in the car on the way to school. She goes, mom, are my eyes puffy? Can you tell I've been crying? <laughs> we are going to Hazel's talent show. Part of that, they're having an ice cream party. That's why I'm going. I want to watch Hazel's talent show, but ice cream party, pretty sick. Heck yeah. I signed up, sliced strawberries, water, taking some ice cream toppings okay. and bowls and spoons. Basically, I'm throwing ice I was ice like, cream it sounds party. like you're taking everything, me. <laughs> Stephanie's <laughs> bringing all the ice cream. So I told Stephanie, between you and I, we're throwing an ice cream party. I say we're entitled to have some of the leftover. Okay, but that's what's going down. Slice them up some strawberries, throwing them in the car, heading over to the talent show, see Hazy show off her art, and then have some ice cream. Oh my <laughs> oh. oh, yes! Wow! <laughs> <laughs> home from Hazy's talent show just a little bit ago. Like we told you, she was a little nervous to show off a cartwheel, which actually ended up working out great because so many people did cartwheels, so she was able to show something a little different. Did you bring home your art that you showed everybody? Is it in your backpack? Go get it and show us. This is so pretty because it has all of the dots. So you made a picture out of using the dot markers, huh? Mm -hmm. Did you make this for daddy? Yeah. Yes. Did you put it on his nightstand for him? Yeah. Tell me exactly what you did whenever you went up in front of class. You got a little bit nervous and you went up and you said, hi, my name's Hazel Bingham and I'm going to show you my art. No, I said, hey, my name is Hazel Bingham, and I'm going, and my, sorry, hi, my name is Hazel and my talent is art. And she showed everybody her art, and did your face get a little bit red? Yes. <laughs> How did you know? My friend told me. She told you? Oh my goodness, she's so silly. Hazy did such a good job, and then their whole class sang this really cool song, and they made kazoos. So everyone, your kazoo. Oh, now show us what it sounds like. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh my goodness, she did so good. We're so proud of her. And then we had an ice cream party and it was so awesome and so yummy. All the kids wanted sprinkles and it made Brandon so happy. And then Brandon came through the line with his bowl of ice cream and we poured all the sprinkles into his bowl. And it was super funny, huh? Yeah. We're home now. Ryler actually just headed outside to do the yard and I am actually on chat with Gab here. Ryler's phone's not working. They're being awesome. They're helping us out. Gonna get him a phone switched out here soon. I'm actually doing this live chat. Hold please. 
So you guys, Ryler's phone, he has the Gab phone and it's honestly been awesome. He uses it every single day. So this thing gets a bunch of wear and tear. It's a year and a half old. Suddenly it just stopped turning on. Cannot unfortunately do anything for us because it's outside of its warranty and that happens, whatever. Unlike my iPhone that is five months into its warranty. Apple, I think is gonna help me out. I've been messaging back and forth on their little chat system. It sounds like they're gonna help us get a new phone. Biggest thing is we need Ryler to keep his same phone number. It's been super great, but that's what I'm dealing with right now. Dry guy is out there earning his phone bill. He is mowing the lawn. Our grass is growing awesome because we've gotten so much rain. He's gonna be happy to find out when he's all done that hopefully I have a new phone coming his way. <laughs> pretty nice outside. Rye guy's on the side of the house doing the yard. I feel kind of bad for him because whenever he has to do these big, thick pushes, he's like almost laying out flat because we have a push mower. It is not self-propelled. But when we move, we've already decided we're gonna get a different lawn mower. It is a little easier to work with because we'll have more lawn to mow. He's doing such a good job. There's a lot to pick up and he's bagging it. So while it's great news that we're gonna get Ryler a phone, I'm gonna get on right now and buy him a new one. The not great news about it is he's going to lose everything in his phone and he's super bummed about that. It's okay, he's doing a great job. I'm proud of him. Well, Raga has suffered through mowing the extra long lawn out there. And it is long. I just went and had a little chat with him. Brought him out a drink. We have no yard. We have almost no grass. But when you have to stop and bag as often as you do, it does make it a miserable experience because you just go maybe 10 yards and the bag is completely full. So you're stopping, bagging, putting the bag aside, putting the bag back onto the mower, going another 10 yards, it's full again. It just feels like it never ends. And he's out there weathering it like a troop. Meanwhile, here in the house, you want to talk to Brexy Doodle because today, I don't know, is it like your last day of school today? I mean, we have another week. It's not even Friday. Today. Tomorrow's Friday. Yeah. He has his report card, fourth term report card. He's locked and loaded, bro. You don't even have to go to school. Mm -hmm. You're done. But here's why he's gonna go to school. All he's got left are field trips. Mm -hmm. <laughs> going to the zoo tomorrow, and then going to the park on Monday. Yeah, a uh, walking one. A walking distance park. Super fun field trip. And then we're winding down, going down to like a short Friday out of school. Anyways, he's obviously officially done because he has his report card in hand. Brexy Doodle, do you want to tell us how you did fourth term, last term of your third grade year? We have so in their grades they do what's called proficiency, and so they have an HP an AP or a BP? Below a or a P. Or a P, so we're proficient. Okay, none of those matter except for HP because that's all Brexton got you guys. Entire fourth term, every class, every subject has the top marks. Highly proficient, highly proficient, highly proficient, highly proficient. That's the equivalent of straight A's, my guy. Bro, congratulations on an amazing finish, strong finish to your third grade year. Now you're almost done, it's time to party, bro. It's summertime. I mean, it doesn't feel like it, but it's almost summertime. <laughs> <laughs> As you know, today is a very special and significant day for our family. Today is my dad's birthday, Papa Bingham. If you don't know, if you haven't been here, if you didn't know about this, he passed away just before Thanksgiving last year. Pretty suddenly, pretty unexpected. Yeah, and it's been an up and down roller coaster. I think it's affected different people in different ways. Not a day that goes by that we don't miss him. Today is his birthday, May 12th. It's a day that we want to celebrate, to remember the amazing life that he lived, the amazing example and legacy that he, he the left. Most incredible man. And so something that we're going to do is a really fun idea. We're getting together at his grave tonight, and we are bringing like all of his random favorite foods. If you knew my dad, he had a lot. He liked some random stuff. He liked corn dogs. He loved Chinese food. Basically he loved gas station Maverick. pizza. <laughs> Maverick was what we would get him. We'd give him Maverick gift cards. If you're not in Utah, you might not know what a Maverick is, but is awesome that's our station. big old gas station here. And we would get him gift cards to that gas station for like birthdays <laughs> and really stuff because he'd love to go there and just get stuff. So tonight we're gathering there. I'll bring some fun stuff to eat, some of Papa's favorites. Then we're going to do a really cool balloon launch. We're going to bring markers, write a little message on the balloon, and send we're going to, to Papa. send them off. It's really cool. It should be a very sentimental, meaningful night. Has a high probability of being emotional. Heavy. Won't lie to you guys. It's been very difficult for everyone. I think it's affected people differently, like I said. I think my mom carries most of the weight by far, but Absolutely. she's also the strongest. And so she's like the last to show it. You probably wouldn't even guess it if you were to meet her in public or have a conversation with her. I just know that it's the emptiest home is hers, where Papa is no longer. So we're yeah. going to be there with her tonight. It's a full family, full extended family, full Bingham family. We're getting together, getting some fun foods, sending some messages up to Papa. We're going to try and include you guys in a little bit of that as well. Just to commemorate this really special day, the day that the earth was blessed with one of the greatest men to ever live, Papa.
And then I put like things that I think were cool about him, like he's smart, insane, You're so um, awesome. awesome. <laughs> Thank you, we love you. That was incredible. It was awesome. It was literally just like the perfect celebration. We gathered, brought some of our favorite food. Seems like a lot of people settled on Panda Express. <laughs> Wore the thank you, we love you shirts. I what I love the most is when we got the balloons, kids even wrote letters and messages. Love seeing how the kids, the direction they went with that because nobody quite understood exactly what they're supposed to do. It's like a quality they want to work on if they want to write a letter or whatever. So everyone kind of took a different direction. I just loved one of them, I think it was Brexit. Just put a bunch of words all over the balloon that reminded him I of my dad. It. He would ask me how to spell certain words and they were like these big, really nice words. <laughs> I think one off the top of my head that he he just know, he asked was... for maybe fascinating. I don't know. Oh, yeah, that's what it was. Incredible words. I was like, these are the words that he's writing on this balloon to send up. I started out with one sentence and ended up writing like a novel on the entire side I of the balloon. That. It was just very therapeutic to put some things down. Tell dad we're thinking about him. We're loving him and missing him. Trying to take care of mom the best we can, but nobody can replace him. It just turned into this big thing. And then we all stood there together, sent them up to the heavens, sent them up to the sky, watched them send off. It was an intensely emotional moment for everybody, I think, just watching them float off into the sky. We even were able to have Jared and Britt on FaceTime no, from Florida. No. Awesome. Riley was walking around the phone showing them everything going on. They sent messages that we wrote on balloons. They even wrote happy birthday dad in the sand on the beaches of Florida. Guys, it was a full Bingham family affair across the country today. Probably around the world as we've seen the messages come in from you guys wishing him happy birthday, sharing your thoughts with us. Thank you guys for being a part of it. It's never easy, especially all these firsts. First birthday, I feel like after his passing, maybe one of the hardest. My mom, absolute rock, rock star, has been her whole life ever since I've been alive and known her. Still continuing to carry that torch, solid it. as a rock, just carrying so so much weight, more than anyone could possibly know because of the things that she's involved in extracurricularly. There's just so much expected of her on top of dealing with all of this. She just does not waver. She continues to go forward, putting she's, this whole thing together, setting up this strong. night, making it happen. That's one of the things that we love, guys, is sharing in life's experience, the ups, the downs, everything in between with you guys. So do come back. We've got a lot more yes. on tap this weekend. We are winding down school in a major way. We're going to field trip to the zoo tomorrow. Mom's going to be there for that. Saturday, chock full as well. You guys don't want to miss it. Make sure you come back. You guys, we love you so much. Thank you, and we'll see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody.